4.7b, Percent Says Proportions and Applications. General Applications. Remember that of is going to represent the whole, and is is going to represent the part. Sometimes it's easier to remember if you have some sort of a saying. Remember the saying all of it to emphasize the of is the whole. The other one is the part, and you can remember it at, as it is interesting. Because it is the part that you are usually interested in. Example one, among male smokers, the lifetime risk of developing lung cancer is 17.2%. According to the Washington State Department of Health, in 2001 the state had 760,000 smokers. How many are at risk of developing lung cancer in their lifetime? Remember, we must set this up as a proportion in which we have of and is. Remember that it is is over of equals percent over 100. We first must decide what is the is and what is the of. We start by identifying what is interesting. The interesting fact is those developing lung cancer, and that happens to be what we are looking for, is those developing lung cancer. The of is the total. And in that case, it would be the 760,000 smokers. The percent is usually the easiest to find because it has a percent symbol. We can now set up our proportion. We have x over 760,000 equals 17.2 over 100. Remember that when solving proportions, it's easy to multiply both of them by an LCD or by their combined product, which would be 760,000 times 100. In this way, you can easily reduce to clear the fractions. We now have 100x equals 13,072,000. Now we can solve by dividing both sides by 100. When I divide both sides by 100, this results in 130,720 that are at risk of developing lung cancer. Example 2. In 2010, women made up 58% of Big Bang Community College's students. If there were 1,688 women enrolled, how many students were there in total? Remember, we must identify each of the pieces. In this case, the percent is easy to find as it has a percent symbol. Next, we need to find the is and the of statements to finish filling out our proportion. The is, remember, is what are we interested in? And in this case, the is is in the number of women. The of, therefore, is the total. The total would be how many students were there. We can now set up our proportion. We have 1,688 over some amount that we do not know, but we know that this equals the 58% or 58 out of 100. We can now begin to solve the proportion by multiplying both sides by the LCD or the product of the denominators. After reducing, we have cleared the fractions. This now results in 168,800 equals 58x. 
We can now divide both sides by 58 in order to get x alone. This leaves us with 2,910.34 students. We do not have .34 students, so usually you round numbers of people to the nearest whole, which would be 2,910 students. Remember that when doing general applications, you need to identify the of or the whole and the is or the part in the word problem. You then can proceed to set up a proportion. After the proportion is set up, you can proceed to solve.